Hi, this is Tammy from Michael's Consignment Shop on Madison Avenue in New York City, and we're here to talk a little bit more about how to spot a fake Fendi bag. Different bags have different designs on the inside as well as the outside. So you may find a leather tab on the inside. It'll say Fendi, it'll say Made in Italy, and then if you flip it over, it will have some serial numbers on the back as well. The newer Fendi bags have on the inside a hologram. It comes typically on a material tab like this one. This isn't true for the vintage one, so it's definitely not true for all bags. The hologram is actually encoded. It was something that Fendi put in to help distinguish reels from fakes. Uh, customs and police can actually look at the hologram and see some encoding on it that'll help tell them right away if it's a counterfeit good. If you look at the Solaria collection, which is the handmade collection that was brought brought about in 1988, um, their interior bags have metal plates. The metal plate also says made in Italy. Um, it has the logo, it has the interlocking Fs, it has that they started in 1925. There's a lot of good information on there. And that was also done by Fendi to help to make sure that the, it wasn't counterfeited. And those plates are engraved, they're not gonna be embossed, and they're not gonna be printed. The Solaria bags also have on the interior a leather tab that has the serial number. So you may find a serial number um, on the back of the leather tab like this, or it's gonna be on a separate tab um, inside the bag. This is the peekaboo bag, which I love. I think it's such a beautifully made bag, and you can see the leather tab very easily on this, on this bag. Sometimes you'll find also, and this isn't always true on the second, second-hand market, but they're gonna have a lot of paperwork. So that's what we have for you today on Fendi. We'd love to hear your comments below, and if you want us to review anything, please let us know that too. We'll get to it as soon as we can. And if you click here, I'll give you some more pointers on how to spot a fake.